The Grandis is the fourth from the first generation, then called the Chariot, and its creators aimed for a minivan that is not just a family car. There is an amazing advertising phrase, I hate minivans. I hate them because they are ugly. Is there a minivan for adults that even I would want to ride? It can be seen from it that the greatest attraction of the minivan for sale is that serious attention is paid to the approach from the emotional side, not limited to the role of a soulless tool for family trips. In other words, the functions of a minivan are attractive, but to drive it yourself. Many companies are striving to create a minivan that can turn people who experience such feelings. Let's see what level Mitsubishi has reached in this matter. When you stand in front of the car, its side view immediately catches your eye. The front hood has some quirks in the opening line, but there's nothing particularly striking about the shape. The car has the generally accepted appearance of a five-door minivan. However, distinct design elements are inserted in various places. It is a sloping line sloping backwards, a dividing line of the rear bumper that stretches vigorously upwards, continuing the movement of an accent line that pierces the front and rear doors, a thin roof shape that creates a refined atmosphere. Has there been a Japanese minivan before that paid such attention to design? When looking at it, a feeling of redundancy is not created at all, on the contrary, there is sympathy for the overall balance of appearance. The interior is also imbued with a dense atmosphere. There are two kinds of color variations on the dashboard that describes the dynamic curves, and this is a very bold use of colors rarely seen in Japanese cars, it is very important, with a fine sense of proportion to carefully select such shades of colors that would not cause a feeling of bad taste. This testifies to the fact that systems are developing within companies in which the opinions of professional designers are not distorted by interference from outside. By the way, this can also be said about the current Nissan. And this is a good moment to turn into a foreign-owned enterprise. On the other hand, some places are noticeable, unfinished to the end. For example, the navigation system is set at the wrong angle, at some points during the day, the screen starts to glow, which makes it almost unusable. The layout of the seats is almost the same as other cars. And in terms of spaciousness and capacity of the third row, the standard level of this class is clearly maintained. In particular, it pleases that the third row is divided in a ratio of 50 colon 50. As a result, the flexibility of arranging seats in accordance with the number of passengers and luggage has been significantly increased. The manufacturer only offers a four-cylinder inline engine with a volume of 2.4 liters, 165 horsepower, which is connected to a four-speed automatic transmission. This number of speeds is chosen for the purpose of the overall combination of cost, weight, and performance. However, when you consider that the five-speed transmission becomes the main standard, the disadvantage in terms of performance is striking. In fact, at the beginning of the movement, too much specific gain is found in the gears, especially in the first and second speeds. On a flat road, this does not cause any particular problems, but when climbing it is impossible to keep the speed in second gear, and when resetting to first speed, it happens that the tachometer needle jumps sharply and the noise increases. This happens even when driving alone, and when driving on a mountain road with the full number of passengers, this tendency should manifest itself even faster. I would like a five-speed transmission to be supplied with a partial modernization. The peculiarity of the engine itself is smooth torque and ease of handling, as well as the fact that the noise is kept at a level satisfactory for four cylinders. Undercarriage performance has improved significantly compared to previous models. In particular, sufficient stability is achieved when the steering wheel is suddenly turned to failure, when a sudden obstacle is to be avoided when driving at high speed, or when the vehicle is turned at high speed. On a good asphalt road, the car rides well, but when moving through sharp bumps, shocks are felt a little stronger than usual. Grandis uses a semi-driven rear suspension that should now be called old-fashioned. However, it seems that in this sense, the creators were faced with an alternative, either driving stability or comfort. As a result of increased driving stability, the consequences have affected comfort. In particular, on a model equipped with optional 17-inch tires, when hitting an obstacle, a creak from the inner lining appears. In this sense, with standard 16-inch tires, you can enjoy a comfortable ride on almost all roads. The Grandis is designed as a minivan for stylish adult clients, according to purpose. Because of his strong personality, there may be a division into likes and dislikes for him, but he will probably be greeted with applause by those who want to drive cute minivans with the subtle flavor of life.